<laughs> so it's interesting to go from being the audience to the person up front. Um, so I, I, yeah, funny that I'm first in a way because I feel like Athemio should be first because the garden or the farm happened first. But this is a view of the Alvarado Urban Farm, um, the potential site of community, the potential site of food and agricultural imaginary in the heart of Albuquerque's downtown gutted by a 70s style reconstruction of urban space, the radiation of a parking lot and the hopes of developers. There's housing to the south, structured parking to the north, a major transportation route. Um, last year, I, uh, hub, last year I was involved in a small collective that proposing a wastewater garden in Iraq that, with the environmental engineering by Mark Nelson of the Biosphere 2 with a lead artist, Meryl Rubenstein. Um, and this is the sign that was made for Isaiah Machine Wilderness, which was the vector that brought the wastewater to Albuquerque. Machine Wilderness was a symposium of international electronic artists by the agency of Andrea Pauli, my colleague, and uh, by 516 Arts. Um, the plan to implement it in Albuquerque, um, the urban and in this site of the urban agricultural imaginary, the palimpsests of pasts. This is a dream, an affordable modular building that houses a bathroom with a wastewater garden. The glass toilet becomes bigger and more grand as the lead artist requires a central commode. The glass runnel becomes a central feature as there's a glass artist. Um, and the beautiful steel, steel cube in that ren rendering was, um, the rendering was put together by Carl Salgada and Nick Cudi. Um, the engineering by Masood, Francisco and Ephemios and I uh, working on the exterior design. And this is the uh, sort of proposed actual wastewater treatment set with horse troughs. And here you see um, Josh Weishert, um, Nick Cootie and Eli, the son of uh, one of the uh, members of the downtown action team who are the sponsors and sort of dreamers of this space. Um, and what to show off for all this. Um, we did a lot of excavation in them here and amidst the um, planting. Here's the um, excavation for the potential uh, a pavilion that was to be in the center. Um, but eventually, actually, there was an interior exhibition, a possibility of a dream installed in an abandoned, non rented retail space at 104 Gold Street uh, across the way. Half the space is we used as an installation space, space, half the space as a classroom space. Not to say the dream dies, the structure lives on as a proposal for high desert test sites, but the wastewater mechanics are being taken on uh, by Nelson and Rubenstein to a grant following cultural methods of waste disposal on the Silk Road. This is the interior installation with um, recycled glass. And then here's the beautiful model that was worked on by many stu students, including Jessica Shoemaker um, and Josh. And you can't see, but on the other side, you can see the inner workings of the wastewater proposal. Um, the space was filled with music from Iraq and a way to try to reconnect uh, this site, the specifics, the imaginary of agriculture with um, an international space. So creating change. Um, is a class that I teach with Andrea Poli, Susan Ho, and last semester Molly Sturgis from Little Globe, born from a conversation about engaging students in change, using the tools of art as a lever, or perhaps a fulcrum, engaging students in a microcosm of change, an alternative economy, a collaborative model for creation and an intersection with real communities. And here we are in the 104 Gold Street space, um, working amongst ourselves, thinking about ideas about um, coal and climate change, um, working with change as it happens in communities in Albuquerque. And um, this is a final project that was done um, by four students in that class about inhabiting the garden. And the reason this comes first, even though it was the final project, is because inhabiting turned out to be this really interesting fulcrum of the space because it is a community garden and it has embodied some of the complications of space that is public and yet not completely open. So the students came up with this, which was the swarm um, as an event to intersect with the International Symposium of Electronic Art to invite people to come to the farm. And they actually collected all of these leaves and wrote invitations on them and scattered them around town, um, which was a sort of beautiful ephemeral gesture, and then created these puppets um, out of uh, found materials, cardboard, um, found paint, actually found in the space of 104 Gold Street. I, I imagine it was somebody's office paint. Um, but then sort of recreated into a kind of wise fool style puppetry event, um, marching down the street with um, 
instruments that they created on the site of made out of um, again found objects and seeking to reconnect or connect um, the urban farm with the kind of downtown fabric itself so the downtown fabric at that moment being represented by the Isaiah symposium um, which was happening at the block party um, just around the corner and then the um, urban farm as a kind of satellite space seeking to invite people to come this is actually I don't have an image of the party in the dark which I would love to have you see but land arts of the American West came and brought food and there was music um, and there was sort of a sort of deeply theatrical presence in the garden itself so obviously the gateway is an important piece of that structure um, that's Irene Loy who's here I think in the audience um, in the back there um, so thinking about the garden as a space that um, potentially needed an invitation um, needed a gesture towards people coming in um, this is a photograph by Nina Dubois um, you can see her really beautiful um, geodesic dome made out of um, uh, pallets uh, reshaped and then um, actually inhabited by sound and then this is another piece that Nina Dubois did in the con in the context of the creating change course um, which is about dreaming um, dreaming this space and using the um, sort of imaginary space of beds 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 for sleeping um, sleeping being something that people really need downtown as well as beds for food food being something that is really needed downtown um, and here's a sort of encapsulation of, of these projects that Creating Change um, undertook uh, both in the context of Albuquerque, in the context of El Paso, in the context of looking at technology and obsolescence, and in the context of looking at what it means to have a farm and a public space. <laughs>